Hey, hello, Stephen here. I wanted to do a video on a comet that is now in binocular visibility and it could potentially reach naked eye visibility in the days ahead. That is Comet Leonard. And this is a view of skies towards the northeast at round about 2 a.m. in the morning. So it's quite an unsociable hour, uh, unfortunately, and it's going to be tricky to spot. You're going to have to be quite dedicated, but nonetheless, I wanted to talk about it and give you some tips on observing it. Now, let's just zoom in a wee bit and talk about the comet itself. A comet, generally a big ice ball. Um, it begins to vaporize as it approaches the sun, and therefore the tail of the comet is always pointing away from the sun and is not related to the direction the comet is traveling in. So there's no air resistance in space, so we don't get any sort of trail effects uh, like that. So this indicates that the sun is in this direction. Now the letters and numbers around the comet are kind of interesting. The C at the start here indicates this comet is in an open orbit, which means it is not predictably orbiting the sun. It actually will reach escape velocity. It will... Um, move away from the sun and not be recaptured by it. 2021 is the year it was discovered. Um, the A1 indicates it was discovered at the start of 2021 and Leonard is the person who discovered it. Greg Leonard, the astronomer, and comets are generally named after the people who first sight them. So how do you see it then? You're going to have to wait up until about 2 a.m. I think is the best opportunity. You're going to look to the northeast and you're going to see the red giant star Arcturus, the Bear Watcher. Now let me zoom out to show you how to get to Arcturus. Here is the plough, so this is probably the easiest way to find it. And we make an arc from the, ha the stars in the handle of the plough and we follow the arc to Arcturus. That's how to remember how to locate this wonderful red giant star and once you've located it then you can scan this field in binoculars and hopefully you will see the diffuse fuzzy outline of the comet. Now of course this comet is traveling at quite a clip in fact it's predicted to reach perihelion its closest approach to the sun on the 3rd of January so it will unfortunately not stay in the same place. So let me show you that by advancing time so here we have the 5th of December, the 6th of December, the 7th, the 8th, the 9th, and I hope you appreciate that the comet is changing its position relative to the background stars. And therefore, um, this sky chart I'm showing you is only relevant for the next day or two. If you're looking for the comet in the days ahead, you're going to have to look up exactly where it is positioned. So just bear that in mind. Now, in terms of its observability um, in the hours of the day, let's um, center the comet just now. Remember, this is 2 a.m. in the morning, um, so pretty unsociable. But let's see if there are other opportunities. So we'll advance time in hours now, and I'm going to count through the hours so you can appreciate what's going to happen. So this is 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m., so in many ways, this would be one of the best times to see it. I'm kind of ruling that out because I suspect most people are going to be asleep. Um, but let's keep going. 5 a.m. in the morning, 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 8 a.m. It's now daylight. You've got no hope of seeing it. Let's keep going through midday. We're now at 3 p.m. in the evening. And you see the sun is starting to set now. Let's keep going. 4 p.m. So... Still not dark enough, I would argue. Now, it depends where you're, you're positioned in terms of your latitude, of course. 5 p.m. Possibly some hope now that you might see it. It is getting low to the horizon now, though. And if we go to 6 p.m., it's definitely dark enough to see it. However, it's going to be so close to the horizon that it's going to be very challenging. Once we get to 7 p.m. in the evening, the comet has set. And we go back through the cycle, back to 2 a.m., which is kind of my 
the time I'm suggesting that you might want to see the comet. Well, there we go. Anyway, good luck, everyone. Uh, remember, this is a binocular target. Binoculars are wonderful for looking at comets. Um, good luck, and I hope you get to sight this Christmas comet in the days ahead. Thank you very much for listening. <laughs>